Hi everyone! This week I have another Madeleine recipe for you and this is my absolute favorite because I'm gonna be using one of my favorite ingredients, brown butter. And it really does make a difference when it comes to Madeleines. And uh, I decided to adopt a recipe that I already had, made some changes, made sure I have a nicer bump in this round. So I'm sharing all those tips and tricks in this video. I'm also making sure that the recipe is actually really simple to make. I'm starting with some eggs, some sugar, and to that I'm gonna add some vanilla extract. And this is my homemade vanilla extract. And if you haven't seen that video, here's a link to the video and it's also in the description box below. And to that, I'm going to add a pinch of salt. And I'm going to whisk this together for about one to two minutes. And the goal here is just to dissolve as much sugar as possible. But it's not so important that it's super frothy at this point. And that's what I love about this recipe is that it's really simple and you can do it by hand. Now, moving on to the dry ingredients. I'm going to combine them separately and sift those together. I have some baking powder here and it's quite a bit of baking powder because you want that nice bump and this is a trick number one. And I'm using all purpose flour for these madeleines. Give that a good sift and this is going to help build the air and make your madeleines really nice and fluffy. So that's ready. Now I'm going to add to my egg and sugar mixture some whole milk. And then I'm going to dump in all of the dry ingredients. And I'm whisking as I incorporate them. And this is just so that you don't get lumps in the butter. Again, you can do this by hand. If you want to do it with a mixer, that's absolutely fine too. If you do this by hand, just make sure that you're whisking all of that flour. And we're not quite done. We're going to add the main flavor component of the Madeleines. Yes, we had some vanilla extract, but this is really the flavor of the Madeleines. And this is brown butter. If you haven't seen my video on how to make brown butter, do check that out. I have, again, a link in the description box below. And this is 125 grams. And I'm going to dump the whole thing or most of it and just stir it very gently because it's quite a bit of liquid and that is going into this batter so make sure you don't spill it and just do folding motions with your whisk you can also use a spatula if you want to i'm just trying to make sure it's evenly distributed in the madeleine batter And don't forget to really scoop out all of the brown butter because the milk solids tend to sink to the bottom and that's really where the flavor is. You don't want to miss out on that. And it also gives it a little bit of color. I don't know if you can see those brown dots in the butter. I personally love seeing that and it smells amazing too. And this is our butter. As you can see, it's pretty runny. So this needs to be chilled. There's a lot of butter in there and that needs to set in the fridge. So we're not quite ready to bake this. We have to put it in the fridge. But first, let me show you how to prepare it. I'm going to grab my spatula and just clean up those walls. Thank <laughs> you. 
Then you just need to cover it with some plastic wrap and it's ready for the fridge. Now this needs about two hours in the fridge for the butter to set. So I sometimes tend to do it the night before and just leave it in the fridge overnight or even a couple of days. And let me show you what the batter should look like at the time that you want to bake the madeleines. You can see how thick it got. It's a very pipeable sort of texture and therefore I find that using a piping bag is the cleanest way to get the batter out and into the madeleine molds. So that's what I'm gonna do. If you don't want to do that, you can just grab a tablespoon or a soup spoon and use that to scoop uh, the right quantities. So I have my batter ready here and now I need to prepare my madeleine pans. Now this is an important step because madeleine molds have this beautiful shell shape and that means that the pan will have ridges. So it's very important that you butter this properly. Be quite generous with the butter actually. I like to use something that is at room temperature and just use my fingers but you can also use a brush to do that. And I'm just being very generous with the butter. Just make sure that every single ridge is covered with butter. Once you've done that, then you can flour them. Just dust them with flour and top off the excess as you would with any other pan. I think it's important to mention the fact that I'm using an aluminum pan for my madeleines today. In my previous videos, you've seen a non-stick pan, for example, and those work really well. I tend to prefer the metal-based uh, pans than the silicon because I also want the edges of the madeleine to be crispy and that's harder to achieve when you're using silicon, which are so-called non-stick. If you butter and flour it very well, then you do not need to use silicon pans. So. Just make sure you do a good job at this step and you'll be fine. So this is all done. Now I'm ready to fill up the pan. So let me just get my piping bag and I'm just going to cut the tip of my piping bag. It's not a very wide tip there. Just push the batter through, make sure you can pipe it out. And then I just do a slight zigzag motion. I'm not filling them completely. This should be about two thirds of the volume that is being filled. The batter is pretty thick. So if you're using a piping bag like I'm doing here, then you will find that you need to really push the dough out when you finish piping each shell. If you're using uh, a spoon, for example, then you can just grab a second spoon to make sure that everything falls off of it. These are ready to go in the oven. It was preheated at 220 degrees Celsius. I'm putting in the tray and then immediately I turn it down to 170. This will create a temperature difference that will give you a nice bump for your madeleines. And you can see that the bump is forming. I noted that this was at around minute six or seven. And after 13 minutes of them baking in the oven, then this is what they will end up looking like. You can see that they have really tall, nice bumps. And at this point, do not let them cool. This is another tip that I can give you. Get your spatula ready because it's time to flip them over. Why do I do this now? Well, this is a trial and error thing. I find that if you do this straight out of the oven, 
then it's super easy to flip them over. If you wait for them to cool in the pan, then the likelihood of them sticking to the pan is quite high. So we want to avoid them sticking to the pan because then we will have to scratch the pan to get them out and we won't have this beautiful shell shape that we worked so hard to get and the only reason why we have the madeleine molds in the first place. So this is a great tip that always works for me. Just make sure you do this straight after you take them out of the oven. And when they are all flipped, you can let them cool. I would say 15 minutes is enough. You do want to eat them on the same day, I would suggest, because then you will have that crispy edge around the madeleine. And that's one of my favorite parts. Now let me cut into one so that you can see the texture. They should be very airy, very fluffy and spongy. Remember that these are cookie like cakes, so it is really a cake and that edge is the crispy part. I love that sound. I hope you heard that. And here's a close up on the shell shape. This is a really great pan that I have here and hopefully you will end up with Madeleine's looking like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.